Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you a reading in regards to messages from people who have wronged you. This is for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the month of June, your 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, or subscriber of mine, I appreciate you. I love you, and I am sending you guys so much love and light and joy. Always, always many blessings. If you're a cross watcher, come on in, have a seat, relax, sit back. And come and chill with us. I'm sending you guys blessings to you and everybody here. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I'm not big on signs, Sagittarius. I like to focus on you. But if your message highly correlates with one of my other Zodiac readings, I may refer you to watch. Of course, you guys have free will. Do what you feel is best always. When it comes to tarot and oracle cards, it's all about the energy and the messages. Please only take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. If it's not your reading, it's okay. Hopefully you guys can learn something or still enjoy it or refer it to somebody else who may need it. You may know someone. So just know um, it's important that you don't force it. Okay, that's the main thing. Don't ever force something that's not for you. Just take only what's for you. And just know that you guys have free will with outcomes and God stepping in, your angel stepping in. Things can change. Outcomes can change. You can change things as well. Okay, as readers, we read the energy based on what we're getting at this time to the best of our ability. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm doing reversals in this reading. I may, I'm just going to read it as it comes. I'm using a new deck and I'll explain that deck in a second. I'm really excited about it. Um, cause I'm very selective about the decks. I just bought this one, but anyways, I love it. But anyways, I'm just going to read according to how I feel. Cause this is a new type of reading for me. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys keep my channel going and growing. You guys know this is my ultimate goal. And I will I can only thank you a billion, billion, trillion times because I can only get there with you. So thank you so much. At this time, I am still pausing personal life coaching sessions and personal readings. I will let you know when they open back up, hopefully soon. So be on the lookout for that. I do have PayPal for anybody who wants to donate. Please remember that I am doing the raffle. I will be selecting five winners to win my Spirituality Messages deck that I made um, with a designer and I will give away five of those to five lucky winners. Could be you on June 15, 2021 in a week. So get in where you fit in. All you have to do is donate $5 to my channel, my PayPal and you know, all the information you need is below. If you choose to donate, please include the word donation. If you're comfortable, add your email. If not, I can get your email later, but please include donation. That is your automatic ticket into the raffle. You don't have to do anything else. Okay. All right, if you guys need to contact me, my email is in the description box below as well. And let's discuss this deck. This is the Mystic Beast official, unofficial messages. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, guys. If you're interested in seeing my deck and how I used it, I did a reading called Raffle and Spirituality Messages reading. This reading is posted before these readings. Okay, so it's posted before this one. So just go to your sign, look it up. It says info and spirituality messages. And you get to see the deck that I'm actually raffling off. And I actually do a reading for each zodiac sign. So look that up if you're interested. And the information about the raffle, of course, is there as well. Okay, this is, once again, Mystic Bees official unofficial messages deck. This deck sells out. Um, it is highly energized. It represents... Mystic Beauty, who has an incredible YouTube channel. I love her work. And um, I've been wanting this deck for a while. I got it. At first, I was on the fence about it for a long time. It would always sell out. Then eventually, it just grew on me one day, and I wanted it. So I'm glad I have it. It's really fun. Like I said, it has a lot of energy. It has some very deep messages as well. And the messages pop like pop. It's a thick deck. I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of thick decks. Most of my decks are like in the, you know, 40 to 50 card range, somewhere in there. But um, this is more, but I have gotten used to it and I love it. And the more I use it, I just enjoy it. It's really fun. I love it. It's fun, but it has its deep messages too, but it's really to the point and it's a really cool deck. So definitely look up Mystic Beauty. That's B-E-A-U-U-T-I-E -E with two U's and she's awesome. One another reader that I really love is Leo Sun Pisces Moon. She is incredible. She always does shouts out. We love each other's work. We go back and we enjoy each other. And she is so sweet and so supportive. I appreciate her. And um, I'm going to do a few more shout outs. Let's see. 
I actually wrote some down because I think it's important to get back and let people know all the wonderful people that's out there like Temperance Tarot into the ether, um, Interstellar Tarot, Intuitive Reads, True Tarot Guidance, Tarot Porter 123, Shared Sentience Tarot. She's incredible. Love her. Um, Goddess of Swords Tarot, Aries Fire Tarot. Really cool tarot lady. Really cool. But anyways, there's more and I'll do shout outs this entire week or as long as I'm doing these um, types of readings. Okay. So this reading is in regards to messages from those who have wronged you. Could be family members, could be friends, could be love interests. Most likely it'll be love interests. Could be more than one person. And we're just going to get their perspective and see what they're thinking, what's on their mind and in their heart. And I will be using three decks. The second deck I will use is a deck I used before, the Island Time Wellness deck. And I will close your reading with an Angel's Answers message. Now, I'm only going to use the guidance part. I'm not going to use the yes or no part. And I'm not going to use the timing part, just the guidance. Okay. And I may read from the book to give you a very thorough and well-rounded reading. Let's begin. Of course, everything has been prayed and meditated on before each and every reading. This is for the Zodiac Sign of Sagittarius Spirit for the month of June, your 2021. Please come through as you always do. Let's see what is going on with the people that have wronged you. We are experiencing people coming back. I keep hearing about retrograde. I don't know much about it, but people do come back. I'm hearing calls of people coming back in and apologizing, missing the people that they did wrong. Friends, family members, I'm hearing a lot of people crying. It's, it's going down in these streets. Cut off game is serious for a lot of people. And we've been in this energy for a while now. But let's see what's going on with who have wronged you for Sagittarius. Your energy could come through as well. I look forward to at least 10 cards, okay? Once they come out, then I'll do your reading for Sagittarius. And I will read the bottom of the deck. This one flipped. I'm taking it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Powerful energy just to start. I'm looking already. Yep. Oh, that one dropped. What else for Sagittarius Spirit? That one dropped. That one dropped. Okay, these two came out together. Wow, somebody may really love the colors purple and yellow, or they love the Lakers a lot. Oh, okay. It's going to be a highly spiritual read. I need two more cards, Spirit. I feel like I need to shuffle one more time. Okay, two more cards, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. I'm the ones that wrong them for Sagittarius. Oh, Lord, I'm mercy. A lot going on here. Okay, two more, two more. That's one. One more, Spirit, or whatever you feel is best. One more. Two came out. I had a feeling these two came out together. Okay. Somebody must really love yellow. I see a lot of yellow here. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, yellow again. All right. The overall energy here, Sagittarius, is if I called you, would you answer? Somebody wants to make that phone call. They want to reach out. You know, when I see this card, it's not just about a call, but somebody wants to, like, email you. They might be sending, like, a digital message, a text. They might be dropping by. People are, I'm, I just literally got a call earlier that somebody dropped by somebody's house out of the blue and it's been like years, like real years, no communication whatsoever. So it happens, you guys, it definitely happens. So that is somebody wanting to reach out more than just a phone call, but definitely somebody wants to call you. They want to talk. That's heavy energy. And that keeps coming out for, um, a lot of readings. Okay. And I'm not surprised. Okay. Because people are going to want to come back. The first card you guys have is heavy. Divorce is here. So somebody is either experiencing a divorce, they're closing one out or about to start. Or you could be divorcing people in your life energetically, meaning you're, you're moving away, you're getting away from them. You are categorizing people in your mind and heart space so that they can't get close enough to hurt you the way they've done before. Okay. Now, this could actually could be you. You could be on the other side of the coin, flip it, reverse it, take it how it resonates for you, Sagittarius. But this is what I'm getting. So somebody's definitely experiencing a divorce is what I'm getting. That's not easy. And I actually did a life coaching session. If you guys go back in my archives on divorce, I did one on marriage and divorce. I'm almost like 100%. Yeah, on divorce as well. It's been a while. But um, that may be helpful to somebody. Just remember, no matter what your differences are, you can get through it overall peacefully. Okay. Make some decisions before you just get to court or before you just jump out here. 
And I highly recommend getting a lawyer, a good one, but make sure it's somebody who's truly on your side and not just there for the coins and the money. Somebody doesn't want this divorce because I see, please don't let me go. So I feel like you guys are walking away from somebody, Sagittarius, and it, it, please, it's like begging to me. They don't want you to take your love and pull your energy back from them, but it's like you've lost all hope in this relationship is what I'm getting at this point. Okay. Somebody has had a moment to where they have a realization that you're the one, you are their person. Somebody is like breathing hard on this one because I just did that. Um, you're going to hear this. Somebody's definitely going to hear this. It's like they could be bringing you flowers yellow. Or a gift in the yellow box or something like that. But anyways, yellow is, is huge here. Somebody may love the color yellow. Their nails the color yellow. Even their hair or something. But um, I'm here in the bathroom or something like that. But the paint. Somebody have paint, yellow paint or something. But anyways, this is a highly spiritual reading. Because I'm just already feeling the energy. Somebody has realized that this is not a karmic situation. This is like a soulmate energy. I'm getting soulmate twin flame vibes and you do have divine connection so somebody's like we were spiritually led to be together by god everybody in your life is a lesson and you are supposed to learn from everybody but somebody definitely wants to grow old with you sagittarius they want to be with you they want to stay with you they don't want you to walk away they feel like you guys have come too far to let it go and end it now but i'm hearing you guys are tired you're tired. You're just tired. You're tired of being tired. You're tired of this person's games. You're tired of not knowing where you stand. You're tired of the lies. It's like a lot of you feel alone. And it's like if you're in a relationship and you feel this way and you've voiced this and you've showed this and your person doesn't step up to make you feel in the know and involved and invested, it's like a lot of you have checked out energetically. Some of you have already drawn up the papers. Like you've already talked to family and lawyers, like you're closing out. Some people can't even believe that you're going this far. I feel like this person can't believe it because they feel like this is a, a connection that's divine. We're supposed to be together. But understand this, people have free will. You have free choice. You can come and go as you want. But this person definitely hurt you and they want you to know they never meant to hurt you. But they did hurt you and you still feel it and so do they. And it's not a comfortable thing to be in. It affects how you treat your children, how you treat yourself, your eating, um, your hair growth, your nails growth. Everything is affected by our emotions. People have to start understanding that there's power in love. Okay? Love is so powerful. People cannot play with this. Somebody wants you to know their pride and ego got the best of them. Yeah, they started smelling themselves, which I mean like feeling themselves, feeling like, oh, I can do what I want. You know, even if I'm married, even if I have a commitment, I can get out here in these streets and run wild and come back home when I feel like it or take a few days and not call and not be connected and do what I want and let him take care of the house and the kids and the bills or let her take care of all the finances and the responsibilities and not care because I'm out here doing me. So you guys were like, all right, well, if you like it out there doing you stay out there doing you. Somebody's truly in the doghouse. They're not in a good place with you. Because a lot of you have spiritually grown and this is what you wanted. This is what they were lacking. Spiritual growth. You needed them to mature and start learning the lessons you've been teaching them and telling them. You're tired of talking. You're exhausted with talking to this person because nothing gets through. It's like a lot of you have thrown your hands up and said, God, you take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel on this one. Because they're playing too many games and they think it's funny. And it's so unfair to toy with somebody's heart and to get out here playing with somebody's feelings and emotions. It's not just unfair to them, but look what they're doing to their kids. A lot of them have, I'm hearing, you guys know people who have embarrassed your kids. Because people are seeing them in these streets. And messages are coming back through you through word of mouth, like through the grapevine. And it's not cool. It's embarrassing. It's hurtful. And it's unfair to you and the kids and the family members who don't support this. So their reckless behaviors are not being supported. 
you wanted them to spiritually grow. They're running from it. And you're like, why? You know, why aren't you ready to elevate and be the wife or the husband or the boyfriend or girlfriend you said you would be? Okay. This is what I believe is you. I'm working on myself. I feel like this is you, Sagittarius. You're working on yourself to be better. And now you're seeing through this person what you require in a mate or a partner or spouse. You're seeing what you will and will not tolerate. And it's like you're releasing them to the universe and you're releasing your wants and your desires to God so that you can manifest the things that you must have in your life to be happy. This person, like I say, it don't look good for this person. You know, they're going to feel left out in the cold, but they put themselves out there. If you walk out there in the snow, it's going to be cold. And if you walk out there without a jacket or, or a blanket or something to keep you warm, of course, you're going to be cold. You are the blanket. You are the jacket. You are the help. You want this person to grow spiritually because you've been working on the parts where you need to elevate and grow. And it's like, where is their effort? It's interesting. I'm seeing a lot of healing and growth here. This one says, you forced me to heal my wounds. Some of them have taken a time out to actually look at themselves some. And that's how they know it is a divine connection. And I feel like you feel this too. It's like, this is really giving me so many highly twin flame energy because a lot of these cards to me are really mirroring, especially with so much yellow here, just matching lots of spiritual growth, healing, divine connection. Oh, this is highly spiritual. Very spiritual message here. So by you pulling your energy back and you doing less for this person and making them do the work, it's like you're forcing them to do it, but it's like it shouldn't take force. A push is one thing. A little push is one thing. But it's like it's because you switch. You flip the script. Like you changed how you deal with this person. You you really start cutting them out of the equation. You're, you're living your life like around them. So they're being forced to look at themselves and to accept the fact that you're not going to take them back without healing, whether it's childhood wounds, adulthood wounds, things from the past, any addictions, any traumas, they're going to have to focus on themselves and get it right with God and spirit. They cannot come to you. It can't go on like this. This is what I'm getting. They can't come to you from, from the ways in the past because it didn't work with you. It didn't make you happy or feel good. The last two cards that's come out. So I feel like spirit is stepping in. They're going to be forced to work on themselves. Yep. And see, I didn't even read this card, promise you. But these two came out together. I didn't know what to say. I wasn't ready for you then, but I'm working on it now. Yeah. Some of them are working on it. And you will know because they'll be willing to go get help. They're going to take advice. They're going to talk like an adult. Because in the past, they would just get mad and blow up, storm out. Don't call you for a few days. Use the silent treatment, that negative, immature, petty mess. You don't have no time for it. You're just like, you're going to have to communicate like an adult. The things I asked you to do, they're going to have to do. They're going to have to come all the way correct. So for some of them, they haven't worked on it. And I feel like you out. Somebody's definitely out. It's a done deal. But of course, you guys all have free will. You can change your mind. You can do whatever you feel is best. But I do feel like seeing so much spirituality here and seeing what this connection really is you are forcing them to heal because if they don't they lose you all of you i'm seeing somebody packing their bags and they're going they're not playing you will catch a plane a bus a train you will uber or figure it out you're out of there they was not ready for you when you guys got together um they put on a good show and they made false promises but they didn't keep them and now that you are beyond tired, beyond exhausted, you can't take any more. So it's, you know, no more hurt. You can't take another blow. You can't take another hit to your heart. No. And I don't blame you. Nobody deserves that. So they didn't know what to say. You may have asked them questions. They were choking is what I'm getting. They wasn't ready for you then, but they're working on it now. Yeah, they're willing for the ones that's willing to put in the work. It's up to you what you choose to do. Always use your discernment. Go to God. Weigh things out. But I feel like there is a chance here for somebody to make amends or at least try to. They definitely want to try to. They want to call and they want to talk to you. You know, make them do the work. You know, if they don't do the work, you're going to work on yourself and bounce. That's what I'm seeing. Because now you know what you really want. And see, 
from the Island Time Wellness deck, you guys have must-haves. So have your list. Make your demands. It says, be unapologetically self-loving. Decide on what you must have, then release it to God. Release it to the universe. And that's exactly what you're doing. So have your list ready, even if you need to write it out, so that you're clear on your standards, your boundaries, what you want in this commitment, so that you can achieve that. Because whether you achieve it with or without this person, you are going forward. Because you now understand that with your own spiritual growth, you know that you can pray and manifest and wait for the next soulmate. Okay? So communication is going to be key. A lot of you want somebody who doesn't attack when they communicate. Like you need somebody who's willing to talk, like I said, like an adult and sit down and be calm without the yelling. You can have disagreements and conversations without everybody getting hot and heated. Okay. Just address your concerns respectfully. Okay. Excuse me. And give them a chance to address theirs in a very healthy, loving way. Okay. You, you want better dialogue. Okay, and this comes with people being transparent and honest and open. They have to come from a place from the heart space and from their mind. Okay, they have to step into their higher self. They have to spiritually grow. You're not taking them any other way. I don't blame you. This is 1000% right. Okay, you have a magical mindset, Sagittarius. Um, you understand that everything happens in divine timing and everything is divine. You know that you can have what you want and what you need because you are willing to put in the effort the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual work to get yourself where you need to be. You have done a lot of work on yourself and you're ready for what's next. So you're standing strong and very confident. You know that you co-create with spirit and you're the creator of your reality. You know how to go get what you need. You're a go-getter. And, you know, wonderful things is going to come to you because you have changed your mindset. You've elevated. What happened is you elevated on this person like, like you skated on them, you know, it's like they were walking and you started skating and they're like, wait a minute, where did you get skates? Why are you moving so fast? It's not that you're moving so fast. You're on your right track. You're on your purpose. You're on your A game. So they're going to have to raise their level or you're going to find somebody who match your level and help you to continue to grow and elevate. This is a very spiritual world. We all come from God. We're all connected to spirit, but we all must tap in to achieve our higher selves and tap into that spiritual energy. So do what's best for you. Let's get a message from the angels answers. This is for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the month of June, your 2021 spirit. This is for Sagittarius. I love this energy because I see a lot of changes here for somebody for some of you, um, somebody's going to change because they don't want to lose you. But remind them, over losing you, they need to change for God and themselves. But no, they don't want to lose you or their family. They want to talk. Somebody definitely, they, they want to talk to you right now, like immediately with urgency. This is for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius spirit. Yeah, they definitely want to talk to you. They want to know what's on your mind. They they care enough to listen now. Okay. Yeah. They want the opportunity to try again. I see peaceful resolution here. See this? So it's going to work out. Some of you, it's going to work out. You're going to reverse this and not go through with the divorce. I do see that some of you are going through with it. And not just a divorce, but the breakup and ending and severing ties and moving on. You don't have to do it by being mean and cursing each other out. I don't recommend that. Say what you need to say. If this person hurt you, let them know what they did and how they did it. But let them know that you're going on and you wish them well. And you hope that they find whatever it is they were looking for. You know, just because people end, it doesn't have to be negative or, you know, people don't have to trash it up or make it worse than what it already is. Okay. Especially when feelings were here, love is real. And for those who actually showed and demonstrated their heart, spirit saw that. Okay, so if you were used and mistreated and somebody definitely was here, I see hurt here, you know, it never feels good, especially coming from the person you thought would never hurt you, would never betray you, would never turn on you or leave you um, feeling left alone or without help. But I feel like those who who see the good in this person and know that this person is going to do the work, I feel like you may be willing to give this another chance. But for others of you, 
it would take divine intervention. Like spirit would have to tell you, get us a try. Try again. Because I see somebody definitely leaving. Somebody's definitely fed up and done. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're willing to give it another chance. You know, I always tell people, lose, lose, use your own discernment. Okay. That means you sit down with yourself and have that honest moment in your thoughts. And if you need to take out a pen and paper and weigh the pros and cons of being with this person or write down what this person would have to do to prove to you, not just today, not just in the next few months or few weeks, but long-term prove to you that they're willing to make this relationship work and be successful and healthy because it's all about having a healthy lifestyle. You want a healthy family. You don't want the negativity and nonsense. That's not going to work. Okay. You want something that's peaceful and happy and blissful and you deserve that. So they have to be on the same page for those who are willing to try and come back. They have to show out. And I mean, they have to show and prove they have to be there. Some of them will have to get therapy, couples counseling and therapy. Some of them are going to have to get therapy on their own. They're going to have to do something major here to prove to you that they want to stay with you for the long run. Okay. All right. From the angels answers, your angels want you to know the challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some only agree to disagree. Absolutely. Disagreements will be resolved in your favor. This includes struggles with employers, legal battles, arbitration, and even strife among family or friends. This could also be romantic. Before, oh, I'm sorry, be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. There will be a peaceful resolution. Just do your part. Spirit will take care of the rest. Forgive everybody and forgive yourself. We all have to learn to forgive ourselves too. Don't ever leave yourself out. Reconcile with those who you actually want to give a real chance with. But if you're going to give somebody a real chance, you have to be willing to allow them to change. I know change occurs over time, but those who really want to keep you in their life for the long haul and the long run and forever, for as long as they live, for as long as they can, they're going to implement changes initially fast. They're going to hear you and get down to work and to business. You need to see them change to believe it. And I agree with this 100%. Their consistency will determine if they've truly changed, watch for that, observe it. But initially, if you say, listen, we need to go on more dates. They better be planning them that month, that week. The very first time they come into some money or paycheck, even if they don't have the money, they better go in the kitchen and create a picnic in the backyard. They better figure it out real quick. I feel like a lot of you will have this peaceful resolution and I wish this for everybody. And whenever you do have disagreements, even if it's with family members, coworkers, friends, whoever, business partners, whatever it is in your romantic life, no matter what it is with, even with your kids, try to come up with peaceful solutions and resolutions. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, this has been your reading with messages from those who have wronged you. I hope the messages in this reading helps all of you or as many of you as possible. I hope it resonates with any and everyone who needs it specifically. I wish you all love and light, many blessings, infinite joy and abundance. Please get in where you fit in for the raffle. If you're interested, all the information is below in the description box. Stay positive, stay focused, keep growing, stay on your spiritual path. Don't let anybody or anything take you off. Always put God first and surround yourself with godly spiritual beings. You deserve a wonderful, amazing, beautifully blessed life. Allow yourself to have that. 
Do what you feel is best. Everybody you lose is not a loss. And if people are not willing to be their best self, sometimes you have to let them go to achieve their own path, their own greatness, and find themselves. Look forward to peaceful resolutions. Stay positive. Much love and light. Bye, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.